So let's look now at our highest frequency. So where do we find the highest frequency? And this is at n half. So if you're looking at the coefficient n half, so right in the in the middle of our frequency samples. Right in the middle, this gives us the highest frequency. So why is that? If we are looking at our inverse discrete Fourier transform, 1 over n, so that's our coefficient x n half, and then our complex complex phasor here, e2 2 pi capital N divided by 2 N divided by by N. And so and so this gives us then one one over N and then our X N half and then and then what we what is left here is so the two cancels out the n cancels out here and so um, what we have left here is is a j pi n and, re and remember n can be only integer numbers so therefore it starts with e2 e2 0 and then um, e2 j pi and then um, e2 j 2 pi and so how does it how does this look like this phasor here so if you're looking at our complex coordinate system here, real for n equals 0, it's here. Then for n equals 1, it flips over to that side here. And then for obviously n equals 2, it flips back here and so on. And so therefore, our time series x of n then looks like that we are having in the real part here so we're getting a real series and and this goes here to 2 plus 2 plus 1 where it goes to 1 1 over n so let's make it make it precise and then then it goes to minus 1 over n and then it goes goes up again and, and it goes to 1 over n and so on so therefore we're getting an alternating series series here and so we could could imagine that our wave might have looked like like that before so we so what i've um, told you in the introduction so the maximum frequency requires one peak and one trough um, and exactly this one we are getting here um, at um, n half so this so x of n half gives us a maximum maximum frequency in x of n. So again, we can um, try this out out in MATLAB. That's um, so. Let's bring this here or octave. Let's bring this here back up, and um, now we need to set our x arrow again to zeros here so remember n is 100 and um, so now what we do is we have 100 divided by 2 plus the 1 for the MATLAB convention and let's set this to 1 and let's do an inverse inverse Fourier transform and let's plot this in this case it's real so we don't need to worry about the real and, Im and, and imaginary part. So let's have a look at this and um, zoom into this here. So we see already that this creates a maximum frequency here. So here for example this is 10, this is sample number 12. So we have here exactly two samples which are creating creating one wave and that's exactly what we wanted to have and so so we see that this is here right so n half um, if we're setting this to one we're getting exactly the maximum 
the maximum frequency.